Welcome children. So far we have seen the study of numbers. Further we have to move on to the next department which is the study of unknowns. It is called as algebra. The science of unknowns is called as algebra. We have to say what is an equation first. See an equation contains an equals symbol in it. A statement which contains an equals symbol is called an equation. It may contain numbers that is we can say that 6 is equal to 2 into 3. So, 6 equals to 2 into 3 which means this is an equation having numbers. So, left side and right side of this equation are one and the same. They represent the same thing. So, it is called as an equation. If this equation contains an unknown that is if we use an unknown or a variable. What do you mean by a variable? Yes, the alphabet we use to represent the unknown number is called as a variable. So, if we use 2 into x is equal to 6, this is an equation which contains a variable. So, this is otherwise called as algebraic equation. So, the, this equation contains one variable. So, 2x is equal to 6 contains one variable x and the power of x here is 1 that is the degree of this equation is 1. So, if the degree of the equation is 1 then the equation is named as linear equation. Now, we can have more than one variable in a linear equation. Let us have a linear equation which says that x plus y is equal to 5. What do you mean by this equation? Here x and y add up to give 5 that means this is an equation which has two variables in it. Here the power of x is 1 and the power of y is also 1. So, the degree of this equation is 1. So, this equation is called as linear equation in two variables. Yes, this equation represents an equation with two variables represent a line you know that very well. So, it is a straight line in a plane these we have studied in the last class. Now, we are going to move into the equation which has more than two variables that is let us take an equation which has three variables in it that is we can say that x plus y plus z is equal to 5. This is also a linear equation, but it contains three variables in it. So, this is called as a linear equation in three variables. This represents a plane in a space. We know very well that the equation with two linear that is two variables represents a straight line in a plane and the equation which has three variables in it represents a plane in a space. Okay. So, you know what is a plane? Yes, plane can be represented as the surface of a flat board or flat table or the representations of planes. You may give so many examples in real life that is sheet of paper, the surface of a book, the surface of a wall and so on. These are some representations of plane. So, now we are going to deal with the system of equations or system of linear equations in three variables. So, to find the solution see for finding the solution in one variable equation we need only one equation that is enough that is we can say that the value of x in this is 3 that is dividing both sides by 2 we will get x is equal to 3. But here we cannot say the solution as, as such because we need one more equation. So, if we have two equations we will be having the solutions for two variables and if we have three equations we will be having we will be getting the solution of those three variables in the space. So, there are three cases for the solutions of the linear equations in three variables. So, we are going to move into the types of solutions. 
what are the cases? See the first case the equations may have only one solution that is unique solution. So, unique solution that means only one solution or only one point of intersection. Okay. Let us see an illustration. Now, I am going to give you some examples for planes. Now, let us say this yellow sheet this surface is a plane and this surface is a plane and let us take one more surface that is the surface of the board as a plane. So, we have three planes now. Now, we are going to see these three planes will they meet solution here means the point of intersection of the planes. So, we are going to have these planes together to get a solution. So, now it becomes the system of linear equations. So, in this system if we have a solution that is see at this point. So, I am going to make a point now. So, at this point if all the planes meet if all the planes meet at this point then we can say that these three planes have a unique solution. Okay. So, do not think this plane stops here it may extend invariably in all these directions. So, it may be extended, but I am having a small piece of that plane. So, if these planes meet at this point then this point is called as the solution for the linear equations as here it is only one point the solution is unique only one solution and one more case is there that says that there are infinitely many solutions. So, many solutions how can we arrive at many solutions now let us see these two planes and I am going to keep this plane like this that is the plane meets this board at many points on this line and also one more thing the third plane also meets the same plane at all the points where they have met that is there is a line common to all these three planes. So, here I am going to draw a line and on the line I am going to keep all these planes together see the surface of the board has this line and the surface of this paper this sheet has this line and one more thing this surface also has this line. So, we can say that these three surfaces meet at a line or the points on the line. So, how many points will be there on the line? Yes, many points. So, there are many solutions to this system of equations. So, infinitely many solutions may be the next case. So, the third case is no solution no solution yes see these two planes I am going to place these two planes parallelly ok. See we are going to place these two planes parallelly can we say that is there any common point of intersection do they meet no parallel planes will never meet. So, there is no point of intersection so there is no solution. So, for no solution we may have all the planes also parallel to one another. So, board is parallel to this yellow sheet and this yellow sheet is parallel to this pink sheet. So, all these are parallel to each other and they will never meet. We may have one more thing also for no solution these two may meet at a line ok. Can you understand these two planes are meeting at a line and these two planes are meeting at a line and these two planes are meeting at a line, but no point is there where all the three planes meet. So, there is no solution here also. So, here for a system of linear equations in three variables let us take some real life examples for planes ok. You can observe the roof and the walls of our room see the roof and the walls they are meeting at a line ok and one more wall is there. So, these two walls which are perpendicular to each other are meeting at a point with the roof. Can you just observe 
we can get a corner. So, in a room, the corner of the room is called as the solution, unique solution for the planes which are represented by the perpendicular walls and the roof or ceiling. Okay. So, all these meet at a corner and which is called as a unique solution. We can have some more examples like let me take our book, see this book. This book consists of no, so many sheets, we are going to see only 3 sheets now. So, in this sheet, this sheet is a plane and the sheet which is left side is a plane, the sheet which is right side is a plane. Okay. See all these meet, yes all these are bound, so all these meet at the line of binding. So, that is called as the solution for these 3 planes. So, the solution contains many points that is the line of binding contains many points. So, there are so many solutions to these planes. For example, we can have 3 floors that is roof, floor and the basement will never meet. So, there is no solution for these 3 planes. So, these are some real life examples. You can also get some real life examples and post in comments. Now, we are going to deal with the theoretical part. Now, we are going to solve this system of equations. So, we are going to eliminate any one of the variables from 2 equations. Okay, let us take any 2 equations. We can pick any 2 equations and eliminate one variable from that and then another pair of equations eliminate the same variable in that and then we will be having 2 equations with 2 variables. So, we have to follow the same procedure where we have followed in 9th standard. So, first let us see which variable to be eliminated. See the coefficients of y is very less. So, let us take and eliminate y from first and second equation. You may eliminate z or you may eliminate x as per your wish. I am going to eliminate y from 1 and 2 now. So, from 1 and 2 we can use any method elimination method or substitution method also. So, first equation is x plus y plus z which is equal to 5 and the second equation is 2 x minus y plus z is equal to 9. So, if we add these two we will eliminate y. So, adding these two equations we get 3 x plus 2 z is equal to 14. So, let me name this equation as equation 4. Okay. Let us take the other pair. So, we have taken 1 and 2. Now, let us take 1 and 3. We have to eliminate y from these 2. So, to eliminate y, we should have the same coefficient here also that is in the first equation. So, for that I am going to multiply the first equation into 2 that is 2 x plus 2 y plus 2 z is equal to 10. And the third equation can be taken as such that is multiplying by 1, we get x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 16. Now, adding we will be eliminating y. So, 3x plus 5z is equal to 26 is our fifth equation. See the fourth and fifth equation. From these two, we are going to find the value of x and z. So, these two become the equations in 2 variables which we have learnt in 9th standard. So, 3 x plus 2 z is equal to 14, here 3 x plus 5 z is equal to 26. So, the coefficient of x are same here. So, we can subtract and eliminate x. So, subtracting is nothing but changing the symbol and adding. So, 3 x minus 3 x 0, 2 z minus 5 z is minus 3 z which is equal to 14 minus 26 is minus 12. So, z is equal to dividing both sides by minus 3, we get z is equal to 4. So, after finding the value of z, we know that we are going to substitute this and find the value of x in either 5 or 4, equation number 4 or 5. So, let me substitute in fourth equation because it has a less coefficient. So, 3 x 
plus 2 into z is 4 is equal to 14 after substituting in fourth equation. Okay. So, 3 x is equal to 14 and 2 fours are 8. So, we are going to subtract 8 both sides. So, minus 8. So, 3 x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 2 dividing by 3 both sides we get x is equal to 2. Having the values of x and z we can substitute in any of the first 3 equations. So, let me take the first equation which is the easiest one. So, substitute x and z in first equation. So, x is equal to 2 and you do not know why and we have z as 4 is equal to 5. So, simplifying we get y is equal to 5 here plus 6 becomes minus 6. So, minus 1 y is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 2 z is equal to 4 are the solutions that is the point x is equal to 2 where y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 4 is our solution. So, this is a unique solution we have only one point of intersection of all these three planes is the meaning. See this uh, system of equations where we have 1 by x minus 2 by y plus 4 is equal to 0 and in all the equations the variables are in the denominator. So, we can apply we can substitute 1 by x as a that is we are going to use a instead of 1 by x and b as 1 by y and c for 1 by z. So, let let us name 1 by x as a and 1 by y as b and 1 by z as c. So, these 3 equations become a minus this is 2 into 1 by y. So, 2 into b. So, 2 b is equal to minus 4. So, let us change let us take the constant away okay. and then second equation becomes 1 by y is b minus 1 by z is c is equal to minus 1 and the third equation becomes it is 2 into 1 by z that means 2 into c. So, 2 c plus 3 into 1 by x which means 3 a is equal to 14. So, let us name these equations as 1, 2 and 3. Then we can follow we I have already said that we can follow either elimination or substitution or any other method to solve these equations. Now, for this sum this is easier to apply substitution method because we have two variables a and b here, but here b and c. So, we are going to apply substitution method that is we are going to take the second equation as b minus c is equal to minus 1. So, we can write that equation as that is we are going to restate the equation 2. So, b is equal to c minus 1. So, this can be taken as 2a or since a is here 2a capital A. Let us name the equation as 2a and substitute that in 1. So, substitute 2a in first equation. So, first equation has a and b. So, which is a minus 2 into b can be substituted as c minus 1 is equal to minus 4. So, which is a minus 2 c plus 2 is equal to minus 4 or a minus 2 c is equal to minus 6. This can be named as our fourth equation. This is our fourth equation and we can observe the fourth and the third equation. So, we can solve these two using elimination. See the third equation, third equation is 2 c plus 3 a here minus 2 c plus a. So, we can have the equation without any change. So, let us have this equation and write the variables under the like terms okay. 2 c this term should be written under the c term like terms plus 3 a. So, 3 a plus 2 c is equal to 
14. So, we can solve by adding. So, by adding these two, we are going to eliminate C. So, 4A is equal to 14 minus 6 is 8. So, A is equal to 8 divided by 4. So, which is 2. So, we have found the value of A now. So, with ease. So, A can be substituted and C, the value of C can be found. So, you can use either yes, fourth or third equation. So, now, now let us use the fourth equation. So, fourth equation is A minus 2C is equal to minus 6. Substitute A as 2. So, 2 minus 2C is equal to minus 6. So, minus 2C that is subtracting two both sides, we get minus 2C is equal to minus 8 and we are going to divide minus 2 both sides. So, divide minus 2 both sides, C is equal to 4. So, we have got the value of C. Now, we can use this value in 2A to get the value of B. So, substitute C in 2A. So, B is equal to C minus 1. So, which is the simplest equation. So, 4 minus 1 which is B is equal to 3. So, we have found the values of A, B and C, but we need the values of X, Y and Z. They are their reciprocals respectively. So, we can say that X is equal to 1 by A because X is the reciprocal of A. So, we can take the reciprocal and write the value of X as 1 by 2 and Y is 1 by 3 and Z is 1 by 4. These are the values that is this is a solution for these three equations. Here x, y and z represent a point in a sp space okay, in three dimensional space x, y and z if you write as a triplet as 1 by 2 comma 1 by 3 comma 1 by 4 is the point of intersection that is is the point which is the solution for all these planes. Now, look at this equation which says that x plus 20 is equal to 3y by 2 plus 10 which is equal to 2z plus 5 which is also equal to 110 minus y plus z. So, here one thing is equated to three expressions. So, we can have first these two, we can equate these two and get one equation that is x plus 20 can be equated to 3y by 2 plus 10. So, equating multiplying by 2 both sides, we can have 2x plus 40 is equal to 3y plus 20. Taking the variables one side and the constants the other side, we have one equation and we can name this equation as 1. And equating the first part and the third part, we get one more equation that is x plus 20 is equal to 2z plus 5. So, equating these two, we get x minus 2z is equal to minus 15. So, we can call this as second equation and equating first and this part, the last part, we will be getting the other equation which is named as third equation. So, x plus 20 is equal to 110 minus of y plus z. So, minus of y plus z. So, we are going to add y plus z both sides. So, x plus y plus z is equal to 110. So, minus 20. So, x plus y plus z is equal to 90 is the third equation. Now, we are going to solve these three equations. Before solving, we can observe that here z is not present. So, we may eliminate z from these two equations that is second and third equation. From second and third equation, we are going to eliminate z now. So, see the second equation, z has a coefficient 2, minus 2. So, x minus 2 z is equal to minus 15 is our second equation. So, we have to get the same coefficient for z in the third equation. So, we are going to multiply the third equation by 2. So, let us take the second and third equations. So, the second equation is taken as such x minus 2z is equal to minus 15 
and the third equation is multiplied by 2 to have 2 x plus 2 y plus 2 z is equal to 180. So, adding these two we will be eliminating z. So, 3 x plus 2 y is equal to 165. So, 2 z minus and plus 2 z get cancelled. So, this is our fourth equation. Look at the first and the fourth equation. Yes, you may observe these two have x and y, the variables x and y. So, we can use any method to eliminate one variable and find the value. So, let us see 2 x. So, the coefficient of x here is 2 and the coefficient of x here is 3. So, we will be multiplying first equation by 3 and the second equation that is the fourth equation by 2. So, which means 6 x minus 9 y is equal to minus 60 and we are going to multiply the fourth equation by 2. So, here it becomes 6 x plus 4 y is equal to we are going to subtract to eliminate x. Subtracting is nothing but adding the additive inverse. So, 6 x minus 6 x becomes 0 and minus 9 y minus 4 y add up to minus 13 y which is equal to minus 60 minus 330 which is 390 negative minus ok. So, y is equal to minus 39090 divided by minus 13 dividing both sides by minus 13 we will be getting yes answer is 30. So, the value of y is found to be 30 and we can substitute y in first or fourth equation to get the value of x. So, let us substitute in first equation. So, substitute y in first equation. So, what is the value of y? 30. So, we are going to have this 2 x minus 3 into 30 is 90 which is equal to minus 20. So, 2 x is equal to minus 90 yes becomes plus 90 here. So, 90 minus 20 is 70 which is x is equal to 35. So, we have x and y. So, we have to find the value of z now substitute in third equation and find the value of z. So, do it yourself. So, you have some more illustrations in your book like this model. Try those sums and get the values that is get the solutions. In the next class, we will be seeing how to say the cases that is whether the system has no solution, one solution or many solutions. Thank you children.